I'm Tristan Tapscott, and it is time for Pet of the Week. That's how we're kicking off the show today. And we're joined by Patty McRae from the Quad City Animal Welfare Center. How are you? Good, thank you. Hey, who did you bring in today? I have Benicula. Yeah, Benicula. Mm -hmm. How are you, bud? <laughs> he's good. <laughs> Look at him. He's honking his nose yeah, at you. Yeah, he's great. <laughs> and, and how old is he? He is four years old. Four years he's old. He's a neutered wow. male. Um, he is his nice bunny. Yeah. And what kind of household do bunnies, do you, you know, can you have other pets in a, in a home with a bunny or is it absolutely yeah yeah they get yeah. along with everybody huh um well or not everybody but maybe yeah you know it kind of depends um he could live with other rabbits mm -hmm. and we would talk to you about how to introduce them because you want to take yeah. that slow sure um, he could live with cats again taking that slow mm -hmm. And dogs kind of depends on the dog you have. You oh, know, the sure, ones that have sure. the high prey drive, probably not a good idea. No, okay. Um, but maybe some smaller dog. Yeah. A little smaller dog would be okay. Um, and just, you know, we always just say, take it slow. Sure. And the slower <laughs> you can take it, it, you know, let them get used to other animals. Mm -hmm. That would be the best. And when can someone come meet Benicula or one of the many other animals that you have? We are open every day except for we're closed on Tuesdays and Sundays. We're open from noon to five. Okay, okay. I see his ears doing the little thing there. Is that is that just kind of a normal thing or is he like is it like a cat where they Get a little freaked out. <laughs> mm, he's a little freaked out right now. Yeah, I mean, it's, it's, okay, it's a lot. It's yeah. a lot. But no, they usually do have their ears kind of upright. Okay. Just it's his breed. They usually have them up. You're thinking of the lop ear that kind of oh, go yeah, down. Oh yeah, okay, maybe that's Yeah, what his up. his ears just kind of point up like yeah. that. <laughs> so it's it's pet ID week. Yeah. Let's chat about that a little bit because you brought in this little th this little guy, mm -hmm. and that's how you guys detect mm -hmm. this, right? Right. Yeah. We recommend that all pet parents get microchips for their pets, uh -huh. and he is actually microchipped. Oh, really? He is. Oh, so wow, okay. if you want to just press that little red button yeah. and then put it right over his back here. I'm going to take that oh, yeah, and yeah, we'll you know go like this. Oh, cool. And that'll give you all the information? And so that is his number right oh, there. Oh, wow. Yeah. And so that is attached to um, the number in our system. Okay. And when he does get adopted, it'll have his uh, pet parents' a name, address, and phone number. Oh, that's amazing. And so if he would ever get lost, we would be able to reconnect them. So we really recommend that you do this. It's permanent. It's not like mm -hmm. a collar that can be taken off. Oh, that's so amazing. So we think this is a great thing. Yeah. It's almost time for Pups and Pints. Let's talk about mm -hmm. that because yes. that's yes. an exciting event you guys have every year. It is, yeah. So that's Sunday, um, April 28th from 1 to 4. It's at okay. the Poor Brothers Tap Room. Perfect. And that's in Moline, and it's a lot of fun. So it's going to be raffles. We're going to have some really fun things going on. We're going to have some vendors. Great. It's a lot of fun. So bring yeah. your dog, come have a cocktail, enjoy some music. And, and a good and way to support you. Absolutely. Yeah, absolutely. Yes. Well, hey, you know what? Benicula, it was nice to meet you. Patty, always a pleasure. Thank you. Yeah. Once again, our pet of the week is Benicula. You can learn more when you visit QCAWC.org. We'll have all those details posted at ourquadcities.com.